Hey everyone, this is David from Toledo Antique and we are here today. We are just starting an estate sale and we have this jewelry that uh, came from the estate and we haven't really looked through it much at all. So we're going to start showing it on our YouTube channel. So you're going to see firsthand the experience of looking through estate jewelry and uh, what it's like to find jewelry at an estate sale. So um, this estate came with a collection of jewelry. One of my favorite things to do is to look at jewelry uh, from an estate sale and try to find, find out what's there, see what's valuable. So let's get started. Okay, so let's check out um, the jewelry. Now this is a nice jewelry case even. It's a leopard print and has these this uh, costume jewelry uh, kind of emblem on it. So it's a nice jewelry pack here. Um, and you can just open it up and unfold it, and voila, loads of jewelry. So, let's see what we've got. Looks like we have a costume jewelry necklace here to start. So, um, you can see here, it's like pink and purple tones, maybe some gold flecks in uh, inside these rectangular beads. So, it's actually a really nice costume jewelry necklace. Some amber uh, beads there. And then these have nice inclusions inside them. So pretty nice necklace for costume jewelry. I definitely like this one. And then over here, it looks like we have some sets of earrings. So you could see that these earrings um, do have some shell at the bottom. So shell is pretty commonly used in jewelry, costume jewelry. So kind of a neat item, but some brass tones and shell there on those. And then we have, looks like a, a couple pairs. Well, we have a pair of um, hook earrings. These have like a hook post on them, costume jewelry. The beads near the bottom remind me of like hematite. Um, so you can see then it has these nice crystals with many facets around the edge and a pretty nice pair of costume jewelry earrings. So, and this stuff, what were you gonna say? Oh, that's pretty nice. This stuff is not cheap at the store, okay? When you go to buy this stuff, this stuff is like sometimes 25, 30 bucks a piece from what I've seen. <laughs> and uh, here, once again, you can see nice um, shells with uh, some glass beads, it looks like, on this pair. So definitely dangly, dangly and cool shell earrings. Mm -hmm. So we got that pair. Then over here, some silver toned earrings. So um, I do need to look at these relatively closely and to find out if they're sterling silver or not. But to me, they do not look like sterling silver. I think these have a purple stone in the middle, so could be amethyst, but uh, silver toned amethyst earrings, but. Looking, looking through the light, looks like a cat's cat eye. eye. I saw that for a second. Almost like a purple cat's eye. Uh-huh. Very cool, though. Gotta love the cat's eye. Well, she's right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you now. My cat is always uh, joining in on my video. Fun. Um, but then here, almost like some purple with hues of pink faceted earrings with silver tone. Uh, so those are pretty nice as well but probably not sterling silver, unfortunately, because if those were sterling, they'd be worth a lot more. Let's see what else we can find. Definitely some nice gold-toned earrings here. These have a hook. Let's see what we do. Nice hook there. Super cool. Yes. So um, just look like some gold-toned costume jewelry earrings. These type of things you do need to look closely at to see if there's any markings, but uh, amber beads on there but some nice um, gold tone earrings there. Let's see what else they got. We have uh, some silver toned earrings. Ooh. Very, uh, those will catch some light and catch some attention as well. So those are uh, really pretty silver toned earrings. Very 1980s. And then over here, there's a whole pocket full of bracelets. So you can see here, these are like wonderful bangles with um, a lot of rhinestones, some beads. Some of these can be sterling silver, so these are also uh, worth looking at. Um, but definitely, see some of these are plastic. You could see maybe some plastic there, but that looks really cool. This one has thread around the outside, so you can just stack these. I don't think it is 
plastic. I think it's just lucite. Lucite? Oh, lucite's a type of plastic, so. Yeah, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Yes, it can be vintage plastic, right? Yeah. Um, definitely higher quality if it's lucite. Um, Super cool. But yes, very nice stack of bangles here uh, for the right person. Can just stack those right up on their wrist and uh, bling bling all night. That's a really cool collection. Let's see what else I could find in here. So here, oh, okay. Let's see what these are. These ones are kind of shiny. But um, you could see here, these are marked 14 karat gold filled and 14 karat gold posts. So these ones might actually have 14 karat gold posts. Um, I'll have to look at them. It looks like originally they might have only been $6.25. So if they do have 14 karat gold posts, that is not a bad deal at all. Even if these backs on here are 14 karat gold, um, those nowadays can be worth $20 to $25. Um, just for the little backs on the earrings if they're 14 karat. So I like to look and check it out and see if there's gold backs on the earrings. But by that tag, that $6 probably was worth 50. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good way to keep track of um, inflation by thinking about the price of gold. Um, but these look like uh, supposed to be faux turquoise. I think these are painted turquoise and some uh, gold tone on these as well. So definitely some cool costume jewelry earrings. Let's see. If you guys see anything you're interested in, feel free to leave us a comment down below and we'll see if we can work it out. But um, these ones also have kind of a little bit of a hematite appearance and um, some clear crystal or rhinestones at the bottom. So some more nice costume jewelry. And as you can see here, there's a lot. These are silver toned. Um, with some aquamarine tone beads. And then let's see, oh, these are very nice sparkly uh, earrings. They kind of look like the rainbow in there. You have a... Um, I forget. This thing here matches. I forget what that would be called. Maybe like a dichroic glass. Does it match something over there? Kind of a, kind of a match. Well, this is the thread one. I think you were thinking yeah. of uh, this one right here. Yeah. Sparkly. Some sparkles inside. These ones are very interesting over here. Let's check these out. See, these have um, like a hook back with a like a lobster claw or something like a clasp. So to me, that says maybe a little bit higher quality. Sometimes uh, these could incorporate some precious metal. So that's worth looking at a little bit closer. But I don't see any marking on it for now. I do looks like a little bit of tarnish. So. Um, probably just gold plated or something. And then here, some more uh, shell earrings with some turquoise there, glass beads. Super cool. I think we might have some gold coming up here, so stay tuned for that. And then um, also some rhinestone beads. And these are uh, like flower power earrings. You can see nice crystal flowers here. Let me see if I can set these up for you. So nice crystal flowers there at the bottom. So that's pretty nice. Glass vintage. These have a lot of silver balls. So these could be sterling. Um, sometimes these silver balls are made with precious metal. But if those are sterling, those are pretty good. Once again, type of thing I need to look at with a loop. But those are very cool earrings. Like a super cute for Christmas. One thing when you're going through jewelry, you have to be careful not to stick your finger. These are really neat ones too. These are like uh, gold tone geometric earrings. And you could see a little peridot type appearance or color there. That nice light green. Um, also, looks kind of like a shell. Um, Yellowish when the lights come through. Yes, but I don't see any markings on this. Just glancing at it, I have my little magnifier over here. Yeah, uh, I think these are costume jewelry as well. Let's check this out. So, another pair of costume jewelry. Uh, silver with some beads in the middle. Pretty nice. And then let's see here. 
These ones are interesting. Nice purple earrings here. You can see these also remind shell? me of a shell. That'd be cool if that's a real shell. <laughs> Might be. And then gold tone earrings. So we have quite the collection here, as you could see, with a variety of neat earrings here. It's the whole collection. This is really neat with those rings and the brass balls at the bottom. Let's see if I can get these out for you. Another, uh, looks like this uh, person liked dangly style earrings and took pretty good care of them for the most part. Look at those hearts. Yes, nice fuchsia colored hearts. Very artistic. And this is just one pack. We have four boxes to go through. Ellie says I can't go through it all at once, so. No, it's why we are nice. going to be making two videos. <laughs> nice crystal uh, beads here. That's beautiful. And um, yeah, definitely interesting. Now, I remember we were thinking, oh, wow, okay, I see. Now, these are bracelets that go with some of the earrings. Oh, necklace. This is a necklace. But this goes with those earrings earlier that we saw. And so that's helpful um, just to evaluate the pieces. Earrings are notoriously difficult to find markings on the little posts. But these are uh, bigger pieces. So I can look at these to assess. But it looks like costume jewelry so far. And then, oh, another necklace here. Goes with those. Yes, yes. And I don't see any uh, sterling mark on this. So likely costume jewelry. But if this was sterling, it'd be probably at least $80 worth of sterling, you know? So that would be wonderful. <laughs> One of these days, we'll get there. And then uh, you could see here, this goes with uh, earrings that we showed earlier. So we're gonna have sets of necklaces and earrings that go together. So that's exciting. You see how we're just kind of finding stuff as we go along. Now this one says, hmm says C O and company. So C O and company, if anybody knows what that is, go ahead and type it in the comments. Uh, that'll help us out too. But these go with the earrings we saw earlier. So that is a whole package here. So we'll get ready and um, check out the next box. Okay, so let's open the second box. And I did want to take a moment just to say thank you for watching. And um, don't forget to click subscribe, leave a comment down below, and give us a thumbs up if you don't mind. It's uh, always nice to have a little bit of uh, positive vibes. But you can see here, um, this looks like a costume jewelry stretch bracelet. So that's pretty cool. Gold, gold tones and uh, light greens, faceted beads there. Um, I don't see, just looking quickly to see if there's any marking. I don't see any marking on that. But looks like this is the bracelet box. So um, here we have a silver tone bangle. I know some people who love bangles out there, uh, but this is like a cuff bracelet. So that's pretty cool, really nice item. And then over here, we have um, some black rhinestone beads, faceted beads. Once again, this is a stretch bracelet, so you can fit that around your wrist. Looks like we have quite a few stretch bracelets. Nice rhinestone bracelet for a night out. And then here's a wonderful, um, kind of reminds me of those shell earrings in the other set. Uh, maybe this goes with those. I think that's a match. Yes, like a shell stretch bracelet. Looks like she did enjoy wearing this one. <laughs> Pretty nice colors though, so I don't blame her um, for wearing that. Let me check this watch out for a second. Members only. So this watch, the brand says members only. So uh, maybe it's Home Shopping Network or something like that. I'm not sure, but gold tone ladies watch there. And then here um, we Ooh. have, <laughs> Ellie likes this one. Uh, once again, another stretch bracelet uh, with some rhinestones, tones of red, fuchsia, purple, amethyst on there. So definitely some nice colors, especially for the purple lovers. Now here we have something very interesting. This one to me is looking good. Coral? Yes, I believe that this could be um, coral and um, this definitely reminds me of sterling silver. So a nice hefty sterling silver necklace and bracelet set. So, and I think this is a really nice coral uh, in the coral 
and it does say Mexico on it, so characteristic of a lot of sterling that came out of Mexico, Taxco, Mexico. Um, actually, one of the richest men alive uh, owned the silver mines in Mexico, and um, I believe he was behind the Taxco brand. But you can see the beautiful coral with the matrix in the coral on this one. This one's a really nice item, probably worth any, definitely above $50 but maybe over a hundred as well. You know, it's, these can be um, very difficult, but it's definitely an interesting piece. I'm glad to have found that one. And that's what we get paid for folks to find the good stuff. Um, and then here you could see another stretch bracelet with facets, costume jewelry. So nice item. Um, another one, this is an interesting, it's like a clasp or oh, almost like a lobster claw or something this looks like a wings probably is supposed to look like wings i don't see a sterling marking on here but um Super beautiful. very nice <laughs> you guys have to tell us which one you like better which was wow. your favorite jewelry? that's really cool uh be near the bottom and um Nice. This one reminds me of marcasites. Uh, those little beads in here remind me a lot of marcasite. Uh, so that's really cool. And the metal is a nice black tone, shiny as well. So pretty quality craftsmanship for costume jewelry. Um, here you could see a wonderful pair of uh, rhinestone earrings. And I have a feeling we're getting to more good stuff, folks. So stay tuned. Over here, another pair of um, clip-on, well, not really clip-on, no, these are hook-back earrings. I noticed on the back it does say $22.50, so um, if that's original for this pair of earrings, as you could see, this stuff was not cheap back in the day. $22.50 back in the day? They might be from uh, designers, you know? Yeah, or like a real jewelry store. Uh, most likely high-end costume jewelry. Some nice, um, these also reminds me of hematite, that shiny black. This one's very interesting. This is an interesting chain. It's, I gotta check the clasp. On the clasp as well, this one does say Mexico as well. Let me see what, wow. What do you found, David? Uh, it looks like it says Mexico, Probably 925, looks like it says L-A-I-O-N. Let me check the other side. Yeah, interesting. So, so that's a sterling. Laton. Huh, marking I've never seen before, but it does look like it might say 925 or 950. So two different types of uh, metal. Some parts of this necklace do appear to be, have some like brass tones. So that's very interesting, but it does look like it's marked consistent with a silver marking out of Mexico. So interesting. I forget. Oh, yeah. I have to look up the city where tax goes from. There is this very interesting uh, bracelet that looks to be quite old. You can see it's a lion's head. Looks either like a rhinestone, cubic zirconium, or diamond in the lion's mouth. And then... Um, could be ruby eyes, I'm not sure. I was looking at this one a little bit earlier, looking for a marking, um, just because this one had particular interest to me. And it, I don't really see any marking, but that is a phenomenal bracelet. Even if it's costume jewelry, it's pretty phenomenal. It does look like costume jewelry to me, but maybe some gold filled on there. Uh, looks to be quite old. So um, here's another a uh, little costume jewelry bracelet with some nice beads, very colorful. This one, let's see what this is. Just checking the clasp here to see. There is a little marking, I believe that says um, 14 karat gold clasp. So if the clasp is 14, the beads probably are awarded. Well, I think the beads are a jade. I think this is a jade bead necklace. Um, so 
pretty nice item. Yeah, one thing, and plus if the clasp is gold, it's also likely that these beads in the middle are gold. So I think this is a jade and gold uh, necklace. So that's kind of how estate sales go, finding the good stuff as you go along. And then here, um, gold tone and uh, faceted beads. So that's good. And then also um, red beads and gold tone. That's a real nice bracelet as well. Hmm. Wow. It's like a stretch bracelet with uh, brass tones and um, some more shell beads I see there. So definitely some cool stuff. This lady, she didn't she didn't cut corners with the jewelry, you know. No, and she had a great style. Stretch bracelet. Let's see what this one. This one looks like uh, copper tones. Ooh. More like copper tones with beads here. So another one. Um, this one appears to be. Let me just check that real quick. Um, Nine two five sterling silver with marcasites and. Um, like an opalescent stone there, possibly a shell. It's like a pink. Yes, I think it's a shell, but almost like opal. Yeah, so, maybe opal. Yeah, I'd bet you it's some kind of shell that was polished, you know. Let me check this this one out. This one also says 14 karat, so it looks like a rose gold, 14 karat gold. So that's a good one, nice hefty ring there. So you can see what that one would look like. But kind of cool. Very simple though, very simple um, ring. And then we have a Timex watch here. Let's see what these ones are. Gold tone costume jewelry. And then these Christmas pins are always popular, Christmas tree oh, pins. beautiful. People always love these around the holidays. <laughs> and then here, definitely some uh, beautiful earrings as well. I don't know if you can see those yet, but those are definitely sparkly like crystal. So um, some nice earrings here awesome. and some nice jewelry. So we found in this box, we found a couple pieces of what appear to be gold, a couple pieces of silver, some um, really nice costume jewelry, and even a very nice vintage piece of costume jewelry. So that's really cool. So some fun stuff to feature at our estate sale. And uh, stay tuned because we've got another video coming up showing two more boxes of jewelry. And I think I took a peek in one. I do think there's some gold. I got to look at it with some magnification. But um, looks like it's going to be the type of items that we like to find and hopefully you like to see. So we'll see you next time. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what your favorite item was. And um, let us know if you want to buy anything. All right. See you next time.